Jesse, I'm back at Chocolate World again today. Uh, the last time I was here, the candy house was not complete, so I wanted to come back and check it out. We're gonna go back and check it out. It, it, I, I'm sure it's just gonna be nothing short of amazing because it's always amazing. Um, and they always seem to outdo themselves each year. Um, let's go check it out. Hey guys, here it is. The house made entirely of candy. Okay, so starting all the way at the top, we have a wreath made out of kisses. Um, the entire front panel is made out of peppermint kisses. Kit Kat banister with big Hershey kisses. Uh, I don't know what they're called, pillar toppers. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at this. But um, all of the columns are made out of the peppermint um, Hershey bars. Down the bottom, we have some icebreaker gum and some kind of gummies. I guess, I guess I'm assuming they're Jolly Ranger gummies. They use one of those big um, Hershey chocolate bars for the doormat. I love it. And then all the Hershey's drops for the front part of the floor. Kit Kats in the back for the floor inside the house. Oh, a little reindeer with some uh, Jolly Rancher lollipops. Jolly Ranchers covering the windowsill. The outside of the house are the new mint dark chocolate Kit Kats, and they are paired up with the uh, peppermint Hershey bars, white chocolate Hershey bars. Guys, look at the detail. I mean, they even have cocoa bars around the edge. Guys, check out the gingerbread house. They've got Twizzlers on the roof, um, Hersheyettes, and Peppermint Kisses on the sides. Got some more of the uh, Peppermint Hershey Bars. I mean, everything. Twizzlers, Jolly Ranchers, Pull and Peel Twizzlers. It's all there. Well, when you come to Chocolate World, bring your letters for Santa. They have a mailbox that goes directly to the North Pole. A shot of the calendar to um, see what Santa's gonna be here. You can actually meet Santa. Hmm. Let's come back on a weekend to do that. So I'm looking around because there's usually like an info fact sheet about like how much of each chocolate they use and stuff like that. I might have to ask at the front um, if they do and they have that information. I'll kind of put it in the titles in the video because I don't have it now. But um, the house looks amazing. I love the Mrs. Claus bakery on the side. That's really fun. And uh, everything looks really good. It's really well done and well worth the wait. All right guys, so if you're making it to Chocolate World, make sure you come over and see the candy house. It is pretty amazing. Um, I can't say enough because I just love to come over and look at it, but uh, well worth the wait. I'm glad we came back to check it out today. It looks great. Oh my gosh, this trolley sign. I love it. Okay guys, so I just want to let you know, I did check at the front desk. Um, they did not have any information about like how many kisses or chocolate bars or whatever they were used to make the house. They said they usually do put out something like that. They usually make a video, uh, which gives all the information. I just didn't do it this year because 2020. So, uh, but as you can see from mine, like they obviously used a lot. Like I think it was part of the challenge to use every possible brand of candy that they have. And I think that they did very well on that. All right, so when you do visit Chocolate World this year for Christmas Candy Lane, make sure you head to the back and check out the candy house. It is amazing, um, so festive, so fun. We look forward to it every year, and they did a really great job this year. All right, guys, thanks for stopping in. See ya.